Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my goodness, it literally feels like an eternity since I said that. I don't actually think I've picked this camera up to vlog since I think last November, which is absolutely nuts. You are going to have to excuse my voice because I am on the tail end of a cold, um, so my voice is slightly croaky today. But I thought today's video we can have a slight catch up and I'm also going to be sharing some very exciting news with you and of course then showing you through that process also. So starting off with a slight quick long story short catch up if that makes sense. Um, this channel will now be taking a slightly different direction, but I have, without meaning to plug it too much, recently started a new Instagram account called Country Living Blonde, which I will leave tagged down below. So Country Living Blonde is a country and equestrian lifestyle content creation Instagram account. I am absolutely loving it. I've lived in the country all of my life. I've always been an equestrian and I've always loved being in the outdoors. So it only seemed right to finally set up a separate account um, as I think on my main account, which actually I have recently made private, um, it was slightly bizarre seeing me kind of one minute in like a, a city fashion or street fashion outfit or a bikini and then the next minute in tweed and by horses. So yes, with that being said, I do think my channel may now go in a slightly different direction and be more heading towards a country and equestrian lifestyle based channel, if that makes sense. Also, side note, what are we thinking of the slick rig look? I've never done it before. Um, I'm just going out with my mum quickly um, to, I say quickly, we're going to Somerset, which is like two hours away, so we're not going anywhere quickly. Um, but I just thought for traveling quickly, this is quite easy. What do we think? It's kind of quite chic actually, isn't it? In a weird way. But my rasp in my voice, oh my goodness. <laughs> However, the super exciting news is that my horse Ringo is actually moving yards tomorrow and he is moving yards to what I could only describe as horsey heaven. If you were to imagine that you were going to go and book today a five star holiday for you and your partner, friend, family, whatever, the horses have it better at this new yard. Like. Honestly, it, uh, when I when I went to look around it last week, I was just my jaw my jaw was on the floor, and it's incredible. So I'm feeling very very lucky, very very grateful that I can move my horse here. His yard that he's at currently is incredible, and it's been amazing being there for the last three years. Um, but it's kind of got to the point now that I'm not competing there and I haven't competed in over two years and it's just kind of seeming silly now to be spending lots of money to have a horse somewhere that I'm not competing and really can't really compete. So I'm moving to a dressage yard and it's uh, called Forest Oaks Equestrian. Um, it's on Instagram and you can see how incredible it is. It's owned and run by Ellie McCarthy who's a really good friend of mine so I'm really really excited. I'm also really excited I think just for the social aspect as well um, and the training and the progression and everything that I'm sure we are going to see in the next couple of months with me and Ringo. I must admit I am feeling slightly anxious um, and nervous as I always kind of do whenever I go to do something new. Excuse my washing machine in the background, it's having a song and a dance. Um, but once I'm there for like a couple of days I'll be absolutely fine. Um, I think he might be slightly noisy for the first day so if you are new here and you haven't seen any content of my horse Ringo before, he is a Welsh Section C stallion. Um, so I think that's why I'm saying he might be slightly noisy for the first day. Um, he'll be winning a lot and meeting his new friends and being probably quite testosterone-y for a little while. So I do think the plan tomorrow is to go up nice and early and move him, and I'll probably watch him for a couple of hours, I think. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to ride him tomorrow. I might let him settle for a day and then go up on the Tuesday, the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, etc., etc. But yeah, I, I, am, I am sad to leave his current yard because it's been amazing. However, I, I can't deny the fact that I'm incredibly excited to go somewhere else. There's an indoor school, so this disgusting weather that we have had just that we have had in the UK recently um, it just does you can tell I haven't done this in so long um, it does just mean I can ride in the disgusting weather and whatever also, if you're wondering why I haven't been posting any YouTube vlogs since November, um, the UK, if, I'm sure the majority of my followers are from the UK, but if you're not from the UK, um, we have basically been pretty much locked down since November, um, in and out, and we've only kind of just been able to, to live more normally, so life's been pretty basic, and there's just not been really much to film, the weather's been disgusting, and I haven't felt, what's the word, kind of um, inspired to, to film, and film anything like new, I haven't felt that motivated, 
I haven't felt that um, creative in terms of video creation either. Um, I've been taking lots of photos and doing some modelling and things all over on my country account. Um, but in terms of YouTube, it's kind of just been left on the back burner for a while. So I'm really hoping that you guys really like this new content that I'm going to be creating on here. Um, and I hope you're going to enjoy the new kind of country and equestrian side that this channel can hopefully now bring. So on that note, I will see you guys in the morning. Oh my goodness, so today is the day, the day. I'm running slightly late, so I am just running down to the yard now and just going to give him a really good brush and whatever before my auntie comes with her horse box. My outfit of the day is black heart equestrian pink top with the black flex leggings and then I'll turn you around and show you my boots. And yeah, my boots today are Fairfax in favour. These are the chocolate Reginas. They're honestly the comfiest boots in the whole entire world. Do not know if you can tell, but I am so excited. I'm sad to leave where we are because it has been so amazing, but in the same like sense, I am, I'm so excited. Hey guys, so I've just got to the yard. I've had to tie my hair back and I'm gonna have to put my hood up because the weather outside is atrocious. Like it is absolutely tipping it down. I'm going to get soaked. Oh my goodness guys, so excuse the background noise, but this is the yard. I am so excited to be here. Ringo has settled in perfectly. Down here, I'm almost sure, I'm sure I'll do a proper yard tour at some point. Um, but through these doors here, um, there's viewing areas either side there. But this is the indoor school, which is just, oh, it's just incredible. I am so excited to be here. So happy. Okay guys, this is a very exciting moment choosing which tack locker I want. So I can basically, I think, have any that are free. So I don't know what, what this one looks like. That one's got some stuff in it. Hang on. I think I'm going to go for this one, which is next to the sink. Um, so yeah, these are, these are the tack lockers. <laughs> I'm honestly obsessed. There are drawers. Where are you? There you are. Hello, darling. Hello, beautiful. I'm going to give you a good brush. Are you okay? He says, I can just reach over the door, but at least I can't get out. I can't get over. <laughs> You're gonna have friends later. They're all in their fields at the moment. Yeah, bingo horse. <laughs> you got friends. He is honestly so chilled, aren't you? You're just being so good. Are you nice and calm? Are you? I'm gonna give you a nice big brush and I put all my stuff away. Yes. It's the most incredible. He's done a poo. This amazing water basin as well. So I think he he's gonna have to obviously work his work it out. But he has to push this with his nose for it to refill again, which is so cool. But he'll eventually work that out. <laughs> Oops! Someone's coming in. Who's coming in? Who's that? You got a friend coming in. Oh, Dingo. <laughs> There's a friend. Oh, the rain is hammering, Dingo. Can you hear the rain? He said you can't see my friend. Where is my friend? I can't see him. Oh, new friends. Yes, new friends. New friends. Yeah. This is the face that really wants a kiss. Kiss. <laughs> fancy the most, isn't it? They're so handsome, all the people on the wall. He's all ready for his first night in his new home and he's got a lovely big bed to sleep in later. And he was so good to ride, weren't you, darling? You're an angel, really. And he's got lovely haylage. He's very fussy with his haylage and his hay, but he seems to love it, don't you, darling? So yummy. You're gonna be cozy, it's cold, isn't it? 
I'm definitely underdressed. My arms are literally shivering. But yeah, he's all ready. He's got new rugs coming as well. This is going to be a little bit thick for the summer. So we've got some new rugs on the way. Even not we? They might even be there when at home when I get home. They might be. They might be. A oh, good boy. Bless his heart. Okay, so I'm finally back home and I'm very, very tired and I'm gonna jump straight in the bath. Um, I didn't film too much today just because I was kind of settling in and getting everything sorted, but I think I'm gonna film this vlog now over a few days. So there's lots of content and I think my friend's gonna be coming up with me on Wednesday, so in two days time, um, so she can hopefully film a little bit more of me riding. I have just stopped into Avely. Um, Avely's like a local tax shop. I say tax shop, it's massive. Um, it's like the best in the area. And I've just picked up some new bits. I picked up a new lunch line. Um, and I'll turn you around and I'll pick up, I'll show you what I've bought clothes wise. Um, I've just bought like a hoodie to ride in, like quite a lightweight one because I think sometimes some, some of them are so thick that it's quite difficult to see your position in. Um, which is, they're both, uh, the jacket and the hoodie are both from Lemo. Um, or Lemur, Lemur, however you say it. Um, and so yeah, I've got a hoodie in a size eight and the jacket in a size eight. So I will show you around and show you what I've got. Sorry if I sound a little bit dead, I am dead. <laughs> okay, so this is the hoodie. I would have preferred it slightly oversized um, because I do like stuff a bit comfy, but they only had a size eight left or a 16 and the 16 swamped me. Um, so this is my normal size. I am usually a size eight, so it does fit really, really nicely. Um, it's still actually nice and baggy around my waist um, and there's lots of movement I can still have in my arms and I can still like see my position and stuff. I'm riding but it's just like a little bit more cozy um I was a little bit cold up there earlier I didn't really want to be putting on like a big jacket because one I was too hot for a big jacket and two I feel like sometimes they're quite chunky to actually ride in unless you're like going on a hack or whatever um I like to be quite like free <laughs> in my movements and stuff when I do ride so yeah this has also got a pocket like the whole way through but I kind of feel like not much is going to fall out of these pockets because they're quite like they just about fit your hand in if that makes sense um so yeah I love love this and again, this again is Le Mau. and again, this again. <laughs> um, this is a size eight. This has actually got quite a lot of room in it for an eight. Um, this has obviously got a base layer on under here, but I do actually think I'd be able to get like quite a nice thin warm jumper on in the winter if I wanted to. Um, but again, I just really, really liked it because it's lightweight. It's very fitted and body fitting, if that makes sense. Um, and again, you can really kind of see your position in it and move in it and be able to ride in it and it's not too baggy. Um, oh, I'm about to see my cat's tail. She's just decided to stand under my feet. Gee -gee. Where are your kittens? She's got babies at the moment. I don't know where they are. I'll show you guys them in a minute. <laughs> Hello, darling. But yeah, this is lovely. The navy's lovely as well. It kind of goes with all the colors. I say all the colors, like all the colors that I, I ride in, like jumper wise and stuff. Um, this is them with the black, the black leggings and they look really, really smart and yeah. No, I'm really, really happy with this, um, and I bought a lunch line, and I think for the three things, maybe something else, it was like £100, so I didn't think that was too much money either. Um, this is a fantastic quality, and I can tell this is going to last me a really, really long time. And yeah, no more me being cold. <laughs> Here's a kitten, hello. What are you doing? Hello. Here's another kitten. Hello, you. They're five weeks old tomorrow, aren't you? You're so pretty. Where's your brother? Where's the other brother? Hmm? Where's the other brother? Hello guys, it is now the day after, it's Tuesday. I have spent my morning organizing the house and I've spent three hours as well working on my new website. I'm not sure quite when it's going to go live. I should hopefully imagine in the next month or so. Um, it will be www.countrylivingblonde.com something that I'm very very excited for and working very hard on. See, so yeah, I am going down to Ringo's now. It's not raining but it's still blooming cold like we're nearly at June and I am frozen so I'm actually wearing, I've got a top on from Jules under here, it's like one of the Bergley, uh, Bergley Horse Trials ones, the Lamo hoodie that I got yesterday and my Lamo jacket as well because I'm freezing. I'm sure I won't be cold once I get there and I start riding and I can just take the jacket off and ride in the hoodie. Um, but right now, even in my house, like I am frozen. So yeah, the girls are away actually at the yard. So I'm going to go and get Ringo in. We've just had a, I've just had a delivery as well. So he's got three new rugs, which I need to try on as well. Um, and I'm gonna give him a really good brush, ride him. And yeah, I've, <laughs> I was sent a video from Ellie this morning of his first turnout in the field. And he was making a lot of noise and doing a lot of galloping and then found the lush 
luscious green grass and I think was fine thereafter um but yeah that was quite funny bless his heart but yeah I think so far as long as far as I can tell anyway and as far as I've been told he settled in really well it's a little bit noisy here and there um but yeah he's a very lucky horse I think we can all confirm he's a very very lucky boy to be there so yeah as I say I've got my navy jacket on, my hoodie underneath, it all fits perfectly as well um, and I'm actually surprised at how much I can probably actually fit underneath this jacket and still have room. Um, I haven't done it up at the moment just because. Um... So yeah, this is it done up with two thin layers on underneath, well this isn't a thin layer, this is quite a thickish layer um, and I could definitely fit a thick jumper under here if I wanted to, which I'm quite surprised at seeming as that it is a size 8 um, and the girls in the store said that actually they do fit quite small, um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Diet's obviously going well. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm also gonna take my dogs with me today and take them for a walk on the way back as it's in such a lovely part of the New Forest. Um, so I think I'll find a nice walk around there that we can do whenever I take them and go to see Ringo. And yeah, I've still got my black hut uh, jumpers on from yesterday. And this morning, actually, I'll turn you around. This morning, I ordered some more breeches from Holland Cooper. I've got the navy ones, which are gorgeous. Um, and I just wanted some other colours as well. So I've now got them coming in charcoal and in black. So yeah, they are so wearable. I'm wanting to save the navy ones for a photo shoot in the next couple of days, which is why I'm not wearing them at the moment. But I actually think I prefer riding in breeches, like training in breeches, than what I do in leggings sometimes, especially if you're doing like lots of sitting trot. Um, they're just a little more, they're just a lot more comfy and a lot better like grip wise and hold you all in and yeah I really like them and they are amazing and they're pretty much the same price as everywhere else and they're slightly more glamorous which is something I love <laughs> so somebody had already got him in because he was being very naughty Ellie and I are out today and I think one of the other liveries must have got him in and we've got a little scratch in our face here and a little love bite I think from Bo on our neck there I think we're gonna have to get him some electric fencing for tomorrow, aren't we, darling? Hey, he feels very sorry for himself now. Oh, Dingo, are you sad because you've got yourself injured? Are you upset? Oh, you look all sad. Hmm? What's happened? You're tired now as well, as well after galloping around for the, for the whole day. Oh, and his little lips going. Darling boy, he's super shiny. Yeah, someone's already got him in because he's being naughty out there. Who oh, are you? I think I might come and watch you tomorrow for a couple of days at least while you're out. Just tip it up for a couple of hours and let me watch you so you can settle a bit. So yeah, I'm going to try some rugs on him now. He doesn't even really want me to touch his neck where it hurts. He's a big baby, this is the problem. He's the biggest baby in the world, aren't you darling? He pretends he's a man. He does pretend, but really he's a big girl, aren't you? A sensitive soul. Yes, oh dingo. A grass stain there as well. Have you got a grass stain there? <laughs> trying to set up a tripod so I can film me trying his rugs on because we've got a few to try on down there. Thank you. 
sleep well I think tonight. Are you darling? I'm gonna relax tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a friend. Oh, <laughs> good boy. Is that your friend? Oh. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm actually going to finish this video now. This is, I think, two days later. Um, I'm hoping it's actually going to be a long enough video. This. I'm so not used to vlogging. It's been such a long time. Um, but I'm going to finish it here and start a new one from here. I think my next video might be a question and answer. Um, so if you've got any questions to ask me, leave them in the comment sections down below. If you are new here, hello, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button to see more content and have a wonderful weekend. <laughs>